Austin's known as the live music capital of the world. You can't really walk down the street uh, without hearing some music coming out of somewhere. Our economy in Austin is based on a lively music scene and we know how important it is to protect our um, natural resource of musicians. We've found that musicians are under really unique stressors. There's not a lot of security. When you're going to get paid is unpredictable. Going on tour is very stressful. You're away from your support system at home. It has to do with living uh, in kind of a creative world between the dream world and the real world. All of these combined can lead to mental health issues. Austin is different in that we support the mental wellness of our Austin music community. Sims Ellison of Pariah, can you tell me where to find your lead singer, Dave? I don't know. He's probably hanging sure. out somewhere. Somewhere? Hey, Rasta, man. The Sims Foundation is named after my brother Sims. Um, it's an acronym for Services Invested in Musicians Support. Sims was known, he was the bass player in our band Pariah. I still today haven't had as much fun ever as playing with Sims because he was, you know, he would wear lederhosen and top hats and he would bounce around stage everywhere and he never knew where he was. It was really hard for us um, to find help for Sims. He struggled with depression. Um, he got really sick towards the end of his life and um, he committed suicide in 1995. The music community came together and they wanted to make sure that this kind of thing didn't happen again. You know, I've had some major struggles in the past couple of years. I've had three miscarriages. The day I learned that I was having a miscarriage, I had a gig at the Continental Club, and um, I don't cancel shows. The show that I put on is this high energy, fun show that is all about just making people feel good and happy. And it was not easy for me to get up there and do that. Nobody ever would have known anything was going on with me. I know that look there in your eyes. I came home after that show and uh, I spent the next week on the couch. You know, and that's when I realized I was probably depressed. If going to see a therapist was going to cost me $150 or $200 a session, I probably wouldn't have done it at that point. They set me up with somebody great, and I started counseling, and um, it, it really helped get me back to my normal, functional self. The Sims Foundation was a, a big part of saving my life. Ten years after he died, um, when I needed help, um, there was a Sims Foundation. Um, you know, there was a huge therapeutic support group and all these people came together and they got me into treatment and I did get the help I needed. You know, now if someone calls me and they're in trouble for real, I know exactly who to call. I know exactly what to do. I'll hear, thank you so much, you know, the Sims Foundation saved my life. Um, and this isn't just once, like this happens a lot. This is a struggle I'm going to continue to have as I keep trying. And I don't know what's going to happen, honestly, um, but I'm glad to know that Sims will be there.